monster infighting was ruled out, not from a technical perspective, but because there are no um, rotations for the monsters. So the monsters always face you. Yeah. And that was done for space reasons. Uh, so the the ROM size was the maximum that's supported by the Super FX2, which was 16 megabits or 2 megabytes. Um, and there was no room in the ROM to store all the different directions of the rotations for the for the enemies um, or, or even uh, the objects. And so they, the monsters always face you. And if there was monster infighting, it would just look bizarre. Um, like <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The, the demons would, you know, throw fireballs and they would be coming out of the side and it, it would just look weird. The two monsters that were facing you would be fighting against each other, especially off in the distance. So that was, uh, that was a non-technical, um, limitation of the engine it was a space limitation but you also had so say in the pc version imps can't hurt other imps but in the snes version they can yes. so was that was that to try and offset the infighting no that was that was a matter of um i think that was mostly a matter of if there's a a projectile and it intersects with another object, that object is going to be damaged. And so it's one of those cases where, oh, the PC version has this caveat that nobody brought up and nobody mentioned and nobody said, well, you're doing it wrong. Hmm. And so logically, um, I just thought, well, there's a projectile and if it intersects with some other object, that object gets damaged. That makes sense from a, from a, a a realism perspective and nobody said that the imp's damage shouldn't do damage to another imp. Hmm. So it, so it does. 